Come on, you bastard. Hate it when you misplace one obsidian and it's like, alright, give me 35 minutes. Or, you know, a few seconds, either one. 35 minutes, seconds, whatever. 35 minute seconds. Mm-hmm. Actually, we should probably... Should we build a top over these doorways sections? Well, yeah, that's kind of part of the plan, yeah. I feel like I should pour lava in that villager pit. Why? Because they make stupid noises and smell funny. <laughs> or you could just leave them in there with the door closed and then they'll really smell funny. Yeah, that's true. Temporarily, that way. Alright. So, this is... Alright, well, we're most of the way across, actually. Unless I've missed something somewhere. Let me fill this area in. There. Are there any more slabs in there that we need? Or that, you know... There are no Could more prepared make... slabs. All right. And if you want to make more, you're going to need to start cooking some cobble into smooth stone. I'm going to have to find some resource to cook. I mean, we have... I think you can cook steps now, actually. Go cut some houses down. The thing is, we have so many resources. Actually, there are still some lava buckets. There are. There's a lot of them still, actually. Hooray for not thinking ahead. Hmm. Right, let me... If you keep on it, that will do several stacks of... Uh, yeah. Eight, I think. Yeah, eight. Um, they'll do a hundred each bucket, as far as I know. Oh, okay. Is that all? As, yeah, it's not actually as much as you'd think. But it's still a lot, considering it's just a bucket full of lava. Put those pumpkin seeds in there. I'd love to find some melon seeds. I think those generate in those chests, but I just haven't seen any. Uh, melon seeds come from mine shafts. Well, we'll never see melon seeds. I mean, mine shafts do occur in this map type. Yeah. It's a matter of running into them is the problem. Yeah, I'm kind of hoping the mining may eventually lead us in that direction. It's a very, very remote chance, however. I would say so, yeah. We have a lot of bones. Yeah, once we start farming, that could be useful. Oh, yeah, very. All right, so let me... Take that charcoal out of there. Oh, charcoal. I thought you said jerk hole. Yeah, take that jerk hole out of there. <laughs> you just do that. That was smart of me, wasn't it? Yes, it was. All right. Wrong box. That one. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. So. Eh, eh. Eh, eh. Quiet, Steve Buscemi. Pardon? The horse. Oh, okay. I can't, I can't remember. Oh, Steve Buscemi, sorry. All right, I'm going to pause for a second because I have to use. And I'm back and recording. Mm-hmm. It was just one of those immediate knowledge things that I need to get to the bathroom. Yes. Alright, so... Let me see if I can figure out how in the hell one navigates my houses. And I also closed the damn doors because I wasn't raised in a barn. I don't know, something in here could be a barn, who knows. We would never, yeah, we'd never know the difference. No, we really wouldn't. Uh, what's in here? No. But either way, when the sun comes up. Or out. Uh, tomorrow. Is it going to be nighttime already? Uh. No, I don't think so. No red sky. Red sky in the morning. Platz and Gazorn and red sky at night, afternoon delight, or whatever those expe er, stupid expressions go that really mean nothing. Mm hmm. 
Now, I'll admit, there is usually so a slight reason that something, you know, sticks around as a traditional saying because there's probably some intelligence behind it. Yes. And, you know, people don't, re well, no, people will repeat something for thousands of years and have it being, or hundreds of years and have it be complete bullshit. Except <laughs> usually when it has something to do with, like, farming and agriculture. Because if you're wrong about that, you die. Yeah. Like, don't go out and eat. try and eat a tornado. Good advice. I don't think that that's an agricultural saying, Jay. I'm sure someone has tried. And they probably also grew a plant at some point in their lives. So it's agriculture. If they went out and tried to eat a tornado, the plant they tried to grow is probably pot. Yeah, well... I'd probably say more really powerful mushrooms. You know, because those tend to be what makes you, or make someone very stupid. Oh, well, yeah. Alright, I got three stacks of half slabs. Let me go be boring at the camera. Only three? Well, there's six furnaces full of um, cobblestone cooking at the moment. Still, only three stacks? Well, this is just what I skimmed off the top after a few minutes before I came back. Mm. So. I mean, I was doing a lot better than that. Well, I'm sure you were. Mr. Fancy Paper. Pants. Where a creeper. Outside. I hope it's not near me. Look around. No. This will probably be something else we finish up off camera. But. Oh, we're making some good progress. We are. Maybe this should be the. Since this is a little more ambitious and not as system heavy, maybe this should be something we finish on camera. We might be able to finish this tonight. We probably can. I don't have to uh, worry about anything till around, you know, 4 30 or so, though I imagine you're probably gonna. Now there's three creepers in a group by the wall. It's not near me. Which means I will not be working over there. Yeah. Which also means we need a higher wall. It's true. We might have to do that as much as it's going to be a pain in the ass. Alright. What's in here? That's one of your houses. I cannot navigate your home as... Oh, no, wait, there's this one. No, this is your... Where is it? I can't figure out what is part of my house and what's part of your house is almost. Huh? No, no. No, wait, this attaches... Yeah, that's part of my house. Jesus Christ, I don't even use this. No, yeah, because I put the fences too high in the backyard because I'm paranoid. Jesus Christ, I forgot this even existed. <laughs> Our houses are so large, I'm forgetting that parts of it are there. <laughs> That's what it means to be wealthy. Yeah, yeah. It's funny, I have a friend who, um... You know, same one I was bitching about earlier. Who... Oh. He dated a girl who was so rich that they owned a very decently sized house. And... They're sitting around one day, and all of a sudden they just hear laughing, and they can't figure out where the laughing is coming from. So, they search around and eventually realize it's coming from, like, their youngest kid's room. And after a bit of searching, they look through the back of his damn closet, and they find that there is a secret door in the back of his goddamn closet. <laughs> The I just saw two uh, baby zombies running along the wall, so I don't know if they're coming toward where you are. I'm in the house. Um, I'm making my way back into the house because there's a zombie swarm happening out here. Ooh. And it seems like outside is not a good place to be at the moment. It rarely ever is, let's be honest. Well, at night, you know. Eh, that's a lot more of that. Yes, these uh, zombies are pursuing. Yes, but, um... Unfortunately, as awesome as it would be to be, you know, the kid with the secret room, uh, he did not get to keep that room. Oh. Like, oh, that that really sucks. 
No, because uh, it would have been one of those I would never have made a noise while I was in there. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm like no. <coughs> the second anyone let on, or I realized that no one knew I had the secret house or secret room in the house, mm -hmm. it would be my deepest, darkest, goddamn secret. Pretty much. And there used to be a um in. My old bedroom before I moved into the attic where I could be left the hell alone because I was a moody teenager. <laughs> um, there was actually a crawl space and it's actually above our stairs. So I used to crawl into that because I liked it because it was, you know, quiet. And there's a zombie some fucking where nearby. Uh, it's in one of the courtyard areas. It's not in this one over here. No, it's outside the storeroom. Ah, uh, but, um, yeah, I used to crawl in there at night, and I had no idea that it made so much goddamn noise <laughs> until my mother just stormed up the stairs in the middle of the night, and you're like, will you go goddamn to bed? Like, oh, oops. <laughs> I think at the time I was actually trying to, like, pull my goddamn mattress up into it. I mean, uh, it actually huh. wasn't even large enough for that, but at some point I decided that was a genius idea and I had to do it. Right. I mean, there would have been, like, maybe four inches between the mattress and the ceiling, and yet I was still determined I was going to do that. Where are you? I'm wandering around, lost, mostly. Go find your bed. Let's make it daytime. Hold on one second. Oh, wow, there's a lot of wood in here I completely forgot I had. Right, I'm heading to my bed. I closed the damn door. Damn it. There we go. Uh, oh, wait. Alright, in bed. Come on, bed. I'm in it. I know, but I can't. Monster nearby? No, it just won't bed. There, there we go. go. Let me get some. Right. Uh, this I still maintain this is better than it's been being. It is, actually. Even if not perfect. Well, it's been working fairly well as far as, you know. I haven't been dropped yet. Yeah, that was very annoying and confusing. Mostly annoying. Yeah. All right, there's some of those bricks. I'm going to eventually have to... There's an Enderman burbling. I don't like that noise. Oh, I was working over there. Yeah, it looks like as long as someone is my... This section of map, or this section find, of wall, find this section, uh, the part near the dropper. As long as someone is oh. near it, this thing works. And it works. Yeah, I noticed. Oh, oh Enderman yeah. works nicely. We are gonna need a lot more brick just for the roads. We are going to need an obscene amount of brick. Did you annoy an Enderman? Yeah, but it kind of ran off. Oh, well, maybe it's shy. Hmm. Damn it. I'll go the other direction that way, or go this way. Uh, go the other corner. There's an area that was, you know, I think you started working on that and then... Oh, yeah, that's right. I did. All right, let me go there. Let me go dork that. Yes. Yeah, go dork that. Seriously, brain. Isn't it? I think another thing we should... Hey, that's a great idea, actually. We could cap the top of the wall in half slabs because it would look good and keep mobs from spawning on it. Yeah. So, We're also going to need an overhang to keep spiders from climbing up it. Also half slab. Well, I was thinking we might be able to actually work the uh, trench outside stud effect, too. True. Well, now I fell off. Well, of course, because we talked about it. Yeah, but it took quite a while before it happened. Yeah, I mean... We've been recording at least an hour and a half after... You know, the initial problems. Uh, I'd say closer to two hours. Probably, I don't know, I've lost all contract... Contract of time. Yes, that. Mm -hmm. Concept of time. No, I no longer have a contract with time. Do you have contrast with time, though? Uh, it's a little bit off. You gotta adjust it. 
Something that people will never understand at this point in time, or um, within a few years, adjusting a television set. It's like, oh, look, it, I mean, a lot of them automatically adjust their shit now. Yeah, although if you let it do that, it never looks good. Nah, but I think in a few years' time, you're going to be telling someone, you know, trying to adjust the antenna or, you know, the rabbit ears. They're going to look at you like you're an alien. No, you still have those. Well, yeah. Um, this area is... Well, unfortunately, it's the largest areas, and I've got to bend over because my ankle is itching the hell out of me. All right, but yeah, unfortunately, it's the largest areas that are still uncovered, but, um... That's not really by accident. I have... Hmm. I wonder. Oh, well, I think I'm going to start by going in, remembering where in the hell I put things. Nope, that's the house I completely forgot existed. Another one? No, no, the same one. That's my bedroom. Now that we can actually move around semi-freely, I should, we should probably take down those lamp posts. Well, actually, they'll no. get repurposed. Yeah, because uh, leave as much or no, no. no point in tearing them down unless they're dangerous. Well, right. uh, we'll we'll figure out lighting solutions. Hmm. Otherwise, I just thought that might be interesting as well. Before we left, I did collect an absolutely obscene amount, and by obscene amount, I actually mean very little netherrack. So, well, we can't really do much with that now, can we? Nah. Well, torches, I guess. Fire we'll start pits. Digging up some of the road and putting it down. Yeah, dig right. up the road and put it back down. No, I mean, put down the, um... Brick. Yeah. I think I'll do the main thoroughfare right through the center of our houses first. Leave these small dirt patches in place for now. That way it looks like we're, you know, real... We're in a real city where you just have a <laughs> fake yard to make you remember that nature was a thing that once existed. Mm -hmm. Good lord, that's a gigantic-ass empty space under our houses. That uh, probably uh, explains some of the noises. Well, I mean, it's actually lit, and that's why I'm surprised. If it's lit, I probably lit it up. Yeah. Oh, I bet, it, I, bet I did, too, because remember a couple sessions ago, I was going nuts because there was skeleton sounds. Yeah, I think this is that. And I think I went expeditioning under the house to try to figure out where that was coming from, and then I lit it. Yeah. Let me get back there. I need to grab some damn cobble and uh, fill that hole in while I'm walking. I might, since While I'm doing this, I might as well fill in any damn hole I come across just to make sure. And I'd rather have a full hole than a zombie hole. All right. That's what she said. Mm. All right, so that's a good start. I don't bother taking that out. That's gonna. There's that Enderman. Oh, it's probably not the same one. I think after this. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I may have to go on another semi-epic journey to go find more clay. 